There is probably a million of videos about eBay promoted listings. Will this video be any different? I think so. Hello again guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete and I'm eBay reseller based in UK. I buy ladies clothing in bulk and I sell it individually on eBay. This video is episode number 6 of the series how to grow your eBay sales. If you haven't watched, uh, watched previous videos of this series, uh, there are links to, to those episodes down in the description box and there is a link over here to the playlist. Today we are going to talk about promoted listings. And I'm not going to show you how to set up a campaign. I won't try to tell you how much you can earn by just spending five pounds. I'm not going to show you, look, this is how much I have earned by setting up a, a, a promoted listing campaign you know today i would like to talk about less obvious things yeah i will try to show you how to use promoted listings with a plan in your head yeah mostly to gain and keep that velocity of sales yeah to keep your account fit as a butcher's dog to show cassini that your account is one worth to send it more traffic. And this is why I think you should watch this video. Now, I'm not going to say that aloud, that, you know, those all eBay gurus, you know, give bad advice. But just think about it for a moment. Yeah? A vast majority of those gurus will tell you to put everything on 1%, and you are good to go. Who are you? Bollocks, guys. Bollocks. If and how you use eBay promoted listings is highly determined by what you sell and what kind of market it is and who your competition is and who your customers are. And that is why you should test different scenarios. And you shouldn't stick to one, in particular, the one that some YouTube guy recommends you to do. Yeah, experiment a bit and choose your own way of using promoted listings. Yeah. Also, don't just use them to sell few extra items. Use them with a greater plan in your head. Remember about that velocity of sales about keeping those wheels turning and about not letting them to stop as you may already know i sell on very saturated market my items rarely have a strength to break through to the top 20 search results especially when i don't list anything new for long periods of time like right now when i'm abroad in this case I have to heavily rely on promoted listings to get my items in front of buyer's eyes. Let's jump to my laptop and see what I mean. So guys, this is my traffic tab. And to put you into perspective, we have to say that again, that I don't list anything new for a long period of time, about six months now. But as you can see, my impressions are still going up month to month. My page views are still going up month to month. Yeah, I know my uh, quantity sold is going down, but that's not in the case. That's not the case in in this video. In this video, we talk about impressions and page views. So they are still growing, although I don't list anything new. But look at this, guys my organic impressions, meaning 
those natural impressions that when somebody is looking for something on eBay, he finds my my items and, and there they go. So these are going down for last three months dramatically, dramatically. All I get those impressions from is from promoted listings because they are still growing. As you can see, over 90% of my impressions comes from promoted listings. It's scary. It's not the place that I want to be, but if you have no chance, no other way, you have to get those impressions from somewhere. So if you got them from promoted listings, it's still better that not to get them at all. So first thing, guys, what I would like to talk about is placement of your ads. A lot of people wrongly assumes that and spreads that message left, right and center that promoted listings put your listing in the sponsored section of search results. That is not true whatsoever. 90% of my promoted impressions is not in search results. Let's have a look. So guys, here, here we are again in my traffic tab, but this time I want you to look at this part. So as you can see, only top 20, uh, only 0.8% of my uh, impressions come comes out of uh, top 20 search results. 90 over 90 percent of my impressions go out of comes out of non-search impressions and vast majority of them will be promoted listings this is the common misconception guys a lot of people thinks that promoted listings are list are, are are these yeah listings in the search results like this one sponsored yeah there's only, let's have a look how many of them is on the, on the first page of results. I just typed next jeans size 12. So there is a, there we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven so seven out of 48 listings are promoted listings results that's about what 15 percent of them but what i i'm trying to say is these are not all the promoted impressions that you're gonna get so i just clicked on this one and there you go yes yeah, so we've got this this listing here so before we even be able to read the description of the item we've got one two three four five six promoted listings and you can even scroll it and you've got another six and then you scroll down and you've got another row of six promoted listings and then you can scroll it as well and then you've got your description and then when you go down, these are organic. Yeah, these are organic non-search results. Yeah. So before the customers reach to that six organic non-search results, they've got they've got 12 or even 24 if you can't if if eBay counts that as, as two rows, uh, two rows of six, and this one two rows of six. So 24 promoted listings, non-search non -search results before you even, you know, scroll down to here. And who scrolls down that low? Nobody. They read this and that's it. So guys, this is what I'm trying to say. Promoted listings are not only uh, search results impressions. These are mostly non-search impressions because you've got the same the same thing like that you've got almost everywhere you read ebay message and you've got them you write email message ebay message and you've got them 
you go through your payment and at the end of the payment, you've got them. You've got them on your mobile app, even more of them you've got on your mobile app. Now, second thing, guys, that you have to understand is eBay fee is promoted listing fees. eBay shows your fee before VAT tax is added. Yeah, so you have to really add twenty percent on top of that to have an idea what are you going to pay. Also, there is a thirty days cookie, which means that when anybody clicks on your promoted listings ad and then buys your item after 30 days, you will still pay the fee. Also, if you pay for featured shop subscription, you will have £10 credit every month that you can spend on listing upgrades. One of the listing upgrades is promoted listings. So you can apply that £10 every month against that. It's done automatically and you can find it in your eBay invoice under miscellaneous. Yeah. If you have a featured shop and you are not using promoted listings, you are wasting 10 pounds every single month. You could spend that pound 10 pounds on your promoted listings and sell extra. 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 500 pounds worth of stock. Third thing, when you, like me, sell on saturated market and you compare with regular people, uh, promoted listings can give you a good advantage over them because most of those private sellers see promoted listings as an additional fee. And avoid them like a plague, you know, or plague, or however you say it. Yeah. It's really funny. It's really funny. Because people are ready to drop the price by two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. But they are not ready to pay 20p, 30p, 50p extra for a promoting listing and sell it for full price. Come on, it's, it's bloody, it's bloody common sense, isn't it? Fourth thing that I would like to say something about. How many times have you heard those gurus saying, put everything on 1%? 1% is not a good idea, especially 1% for everything. Why? Because being a sheep is not a good idea. Why would you do what everybody else does? The fact that everybody does something doesn't mean automatically that they are right. Most people that I know work in the low paid job. Most people that I know don't save money. Must be, most people that I know waste food, don't go to university, don't exercise, don't hydrate enough. You know, are they all right or wrong? You know, a lot of people does a lot of wrong things. And the fact that everybody does it doesn't mean they are right. The fact that everybody or most of the people or almost everybody, you know, don't eat healthy food, you know, it doesn't mean that they are right. It means that they are wrong because they should eat healthy food. Yeah. What do they say on Wall Street? Buy when everybody sell and sell when everybody buy. Yeah. Can you pay less than 1% uh, in terms of your promoted listings fees? No. So you are competing with all those people to get all those worse placements. 
you know, will you get some? Yes, you will. But would you be able to get a lot more if you were ready to pay just a bit more? I've got items listed for more than a year, for more than two years. I'm perfectly happy to pay more to see the back of it. And if I pay it just a little bit more, that will give me a better placement. Or even that will give me more impressions on that worse placement. Don't be sheep, guys. Don't be sheep. Fifth thing that I would like to say something about is have a plan. Selling few more items is not the plan. The worst plan is better than not to have a plan. Use promoted listings to gain and keep that velocity of sales. So whenever you see that your sales are going down, push that fees up and sell more items so you won't let those sales to go down. You can use you can use it the same way when something bad happens, yeah? You get negative feedback, you get defect, you get return case, you've got late delivery, whatever. Just put them up as soon as you notice that so you won't lose that velocity. You prevent yourself, yourself from losing those sales. Keep things spinning. And the last thing that I would like to talk about, number six, is refreshing your campaigns. Does it work? To some extent, yes, I would say it works. I can't find solid, rock solid evidence on that, but it only takes few minutes, so it's worth to do from time to time. It, it, it makes sense, really. You know, like there are stale listings, so there can be stale campaigns as well. Algorithm can see that campaign as a stale because it says, right, we are sending those uh, impressions to that campaign for last three months and only five items have sold or whatever the number is. Yeah. Ah, it's not worth it to send the, the traffic there. Let's lower, let's de decrease that traffic that we are sending to that campaign. Let's try something else. Let's try somebody else's campaign. Yeah. So how to refresh your campaign? Just end your campaign, delete it, and then set up a new one in place of the old one with all the same listings. Simple. I hope... I have shown you that promoted listings can have a good place in your strategy of growing sales. Just use them with a master plan in your head and just use them to gain that velocity and to keep that velocity. Don't use them just to sell more items. Yeah, That's it for today, guys. Have a great day. I wish you many, many, many eBay sales. See you next time, guys. God bless you all and bye-bye.